Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install and set up uh, Vivaldi uh, browser uh, which we will download in a dot a DEB format uh, which is a uh, format used exclusively in Debian based uh, or Debian or uh, Ubuntu based uh, uh, Puppy Linux so I'm running a uh, Debian latest Debian uh, called Bookworm uh, Pub 64 and this is the distro that I will go ahead and put under uh, description <coughs> where you can download and uh, but let's go ahead and uh, go to the uh, uh, on a right click you can see that on our internet uh, uh, Firefox ESR is already uh, installed and this is uh, pretty much a, a fresh install after a quick setup um, it does come with a uh, simple screen recorder already installed so I just basically set it up so I can use uh, sound and uh, headphone uh, but otherwise this is a default uh, pretty much default uh, book one pub 64 running on my machine so let's go ahead and go quickly to the uh, a website uh, because this I'm running a Debian based um, a package manager uh, and will be installing .deb uh, you really have to use one of these uh, Debian or Ubuntu based uh, 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 puppy Linux so it, this is n it will not work on Slackware base or uh, Slackware or void base so uh, that f uh, I want to get that out of the way that it will work only in Debian or Ubuntu base uh, because uh, of a dot deb uh, uh, structure that we'll be uh, using. So you go to this uh, Vivian download uh, Vivaldi uh, download site, and I'll put it on the description, of course. And there's the Vivaldi 6.1. So what we want to do is go ahead and go down and then go to uh, Linux uh, uh, DEB 64 bit. And uh, we'll continue on after we uh, got it uh, downloaded. So actually we may just be able to continue on here and then we'll open it up and uh, we'll go to downloads and then here is the download just downloaded deb um i know it may be hard to see but uh what we want to do is just go ahead and simply click uh, here and in a book one pub 64 it will come up with this uh, uh window and uh, we'll give it a minute and then uh, it will the install package option will light up and then afterwards we just click that and then wait a uh, few minutes until installation is complete and we'll continue uh, on recording at that point now we've uh, uh, successfully installed uh, uh, Vivaldi and uh, we'll close this window now and then we can look at the menu and now internet under internet there is a Vivaldi so we'll click on it see if it'll start and um, we'll give it a minute or so see if it starts it is a rather slow computer but it doesn't seem to start so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, click uh, to get a terminal here and then usually here so now we're gonna uh, try Vivaldi stable which is the name of the app and we'll go ahead and give it a and then you get a little warning so because of Vivaldi is uh, uh, is expecting to run as a regular user and the puppy Linux uh, world uh, you're a root as a uh, user so it's not expecting uh, so what you have to do is to go ahead and uh, add this uh, no sandbox uh, 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 extension so we'll say Vivaldi stable 
and then no sandbox and then we'll have it run in the background so we'll go ahead and give it an enter and then now it actually starts so we'll see what uh, so this uh, is because uh, we want to run Vivaldi browser as a root so in a puppy uh, puppy Linux uh, as a single user is given a, a a global name of spot so let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, go through the initial Vivaldi so let's just go through Vivaldi and we'll go ahead and block trackers and add, add ads and then continue and then skip we're gonna skip uh, uh, here and uh, we'll go to human just uh, to make it a little bit more uh, presentable and then we'll go ahead and continue and then start browsing okay so we got it started and one of the uh, major problem of the uh, Vivaldi uh, running as a spot a regular user is that it's is the download is not going to be at a expected uh, folder so we'll go ahead and go to uh, settings wheel in Vivaldi and then we'll go to downloads here so when you look at the downloads on a default setting it uh, is a root downloads here reset download setting let's go ahead and reset it and what you may have to do is uh, a root uh, downloads may not work so what you have to do is go ahead and select and then go to go to let's say go to computer and then home and spot and then downloads in this uh, here so this will work uh, and otherwise if you choose a root and downloads you may not be able to download saying that uh, you don't have the correct uh, permission so we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, select that and get out and then let's uh, see if we can try to download a something so we'll go ahead and uh, wallpaper let's see if we can download a some sort of wallpaper so uh, so we can uh, try to uh, download some sort of image here so here's image and then we can go ahead and right click and see if we can download image properties save image as okay save image as and then root downloads so it says root downloads so but let's see if it will downloads to the root downloads so you should have downloaded and then here's our uh, JPG so it actually did uh, indeed download it to the root JPG okay so we'll go ahead and confirm so indeed uh, it is so it is correct okay so on my another computer what it doesn't it doesn't do is it doesn't allow for you to go ahead and download to this uh, root uh, but instead way you can find it is under spot so here is the root uh, folder in rocks so here one of the options I'm sorry if it's gonna be uh, small but uh, go ahead and 
Um, so this is with hidden files. Uh, so with a hidden, uh, so it's not a hidden file. So, but you can see spot here. It, this is a, a, sp a space for the regular user. So you can go ahead and uh, go into spot and downloads. And look at the. Uh, so it's under spot. It actually is uh, downloading into the correct. Uh, so it is under uh, our. This is the uh, wallpaper. So. It actually did put it put it in the spot downloads. So then, what you can do is go ahead and move it anywhere you want. So if you look at the downloads, this is actually a uh, a link. So it is not a uh, under direct, but it actually is a home. S so now we can go ahead and drag this enter into my uh, my documents for example so we'll go ahead and move that into my documents so here you can go ahead and uh, uh, so so yes indeed it is correct that it is not downloading into your regular root download fo folder but it actually is a link this downloads f uh, folder is actually a link of the home spot that downloads. So, uh, so that's what you have to do is make. Uh, just be aware that when uh, the when is you're downloading a file uh, through the uh, web browser because uh, it is it is not set up to download in a root uh, permission it actually downloads into spot uh, folder which spot uh, refers to any non-root user so it actually uh, uh, and then what you have to just uh, move it uh, uh, move it out to uh, whatever the folder that you uh, you like